What's up? Welcome back to Nigel's Garage. Today, we're going to be learning all about four-cylinder engines. And you're probably thinking something like, oh, four-cylinder engines. I know those. Those are the ones with four cylinders, right? Wrong. As you can see, they only have two. Well, let's pop open this hood and take a look at a four-cylinder engine in its natural habitat. Well, what do you see? That's right, plastic. In a modern car, they make the entire engine out of plastic to save weight and money. Pretty pathetic if you ask me. Which is precisely why I don't own anything made after 1996. Since not only are you much more likely to have an engine made out of something far sturdier, like granite, you also get the added benefit of not needing to worry about the government tracking you using OBD2 technology, which was mandated in 96. Look it up. That's not what we set out to learn about today now, is it? No, we wanted to learn about four cylinder engines. How do they work? What do they do? And where do they go when the sun goes down? Well, let's start with that first question. How do they work? Well, most engines take advantage of a combustion chamber where air and fuel are compressed and ignited, creating a controlled explosion, propelling the vehicle forward. Four cylinders are quite unique in the way that they make their power. They simplify that entire process and just blow up. Well, that's pretty much everything we know about four-cylinder engines. The scientific community is still hard at work trying to understand these things. But maybe, as is the case with most things in this world, maybe there aren't really any answers. Just things to think about. So I hope you've enjoyed thinking about four-cylinder engines today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go hide myself away in my basement because the birds in the trees have been spying on me and I don't like how much they've been able to figure out.